Well, I do expect if we were to lay odds on what the president will talk about, certainly the military is going to be a big part of this and continuing to really rebuild it, Chuck. And it's sad we even have to say rebuild our military, but it had been torn down after Barack Obama. No, it really has. Actually, it's been fundamentally transformed. And I think uh, aside from the fact that things that we've reported on before with the uh, the lack of readiness for many of our troops, for the, the lack of uh, equipment that functions correctly, for the lack of pilots that we were facing, uh, those are just symptoms. The real, uh, the root problem here is that uh, Barack Obama worked very hard to transform the military. He loved the idea of the military as a, uh, a petri dish. The military as a, a place where he could he could foist his radical social agenda on people who couldn't say no. And so what happened was he drove out a lot of the people who didn't agree with that agenda and made promotion, especially in the higher echelons uh, the, of officer ranks, uh, dependent on being on board with that radical social agenda. And I think that's, the, you know, look, you can pour a lot of money back into the military and we can help with the readiness issues and, uh, and that sort of thing. But the, the real challenge is going to be changing that culture back to a culture of winning rather than a culture of inclusion. And because as I have said many times before, the army that is focused on inclusion will always be destroyed by the army that's focused on winning.